Hello everyone, I have a really exciting case to share with you today. This case involves an endodontically treated tooth, number 30. And what you're seeing here is a pre-op radiograph taken back in 2017. I don't have a whole lot of clinical ex uh, notes or information from that time, but this tooth presumably uh, was in pain and patient end up getting root canal therapy on this tooth. So go ahead and take a minute to evaluate the overall pulpal and root morphology and the apical areas. Alright, now I'm going to show you radiographs that were taken immediately after um, root canal therapy is, was completed. Let's see, so this was taken in September 2017, right after its completion. There we go. Okay, I'm going to show you another one. So this is an immediate post-op radiograph back in 2017. So the patient presents to our clinic and presents uh, with a chief complaint of, uh, that of continuous or continued pain or in intermittent pain and something doesn't feel exactly right. So what do we do? We take a peri we take a periapical radiograph of that patient. And this is what we see. Okay. Obviously the angulation of the image is different from the one I showed you earlier. I want to show you one more radiograph that was taken in February, February of 2019, roughly a year and a half later. So looking at this, especially paying close attention to the apical regions, what are you most concerned about? How well can you trace the lamina dura and PDL space? Is there anything else that you're concerned that may contribute toward her symptom. How do you like the overall quality of the root canal treatment in terms of its extent to the apical region as well as the density, the feel quality? Um, how, how would you assess it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you see a glaring issue perhaps? that you'd like to uh, further investigate. Okay, now I'm going to show you a CVCT scan taken on this tooth. Okay, and this is going to be very interesting. I think the most telling, most representative views that you can get is an axial view in this case. So I'm going to so open up the axial view and then scroll from the occlusal plane toward the root apex. back up. Do you see any issue, a glaring issue in this patient's case? If you don't see it, I'd like to show you one more view. Let's take a look at the sagittal. So let's see, 
let me first orient myself okay I'm at the lingual side of the ridge now I'll go toward buckle Three. Alright, uh, by now you should be able to tell what the main issue is. Um, really the main issue here is that we have an unfilled mesial buccal canal. Let me remove the crosshair right there. So the mesial buccal canal was not cleaned and obturated, uh, most likely because it, was, uh, it could not be discovered probably. Um, so yes, this is the reason why taking a comim CT for root canal therapy, especially multi-rooted canal or multi-rooted tooth or teeth or tooth with multi-canals or uh, a variant of canal morphology could greatly benefit from taking a comim CT scan uh, preoperatively as well as postoperatively. In this case, when patient presents with atypical persistent pain afterwards, it is definitely indicated to take a comium CT scan to evaluate whether there is a persistent uh, inflammation, whether there is a root fracture, or in this case an unfilled canal and so forth. So I hope this emphasizes the importance of taking a CBCT scan prior to or after root canal therapy. The, I'll go over AAE and AAOMR joint statement that was published back in 2015 uh, in the near future. But just to recap or summarize, they recommend taking COMIM CT as a preoperative imaging modality of choice for all, uh, uh, for all teeth with an exception of uh, maxillary uh, anterior teeth from canine to canine. But other than that, the remainder of the teeth is recommended uh, to take a, a comim CT preoperatively. So that's a very drastic uh, uh, you know, and very uh, proactive stance on the use of comim CT. Obviously very different from the way we've been using combim and the way we've been treating root canal therapy for decades. So uh, whether that's going to be uh, fully implemented in the you know in real life is is remain to be seen. But um, it is my personal opinion that down the road, as the cost of Comim CT becomes more affordable, and also the interpretation uh, skill level of endodontists improves gradually over the years, and like what I'm doing now predoctoral student curriculum will continue to have more COMIM CT as part of their uh, training, as part of their radiology lecture, then I think eventually it may take several years, it may take a decade, I don't know, but we will probably get to that point where COMIM CT becomes the standard of care for uh, most of the endodontic cases. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope this was helpful and uh, insightful and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.